Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to my Let's Play of Lies of P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and I am super excited to play this game. I've been excited to play it for a very long time, so I'm not going to waste any time, and we're going to start a new game. Can you hear me? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Jiminy, too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Okay, I'm just gonna put this out here. I did play the demo of Liza P, so I know a little bit of what's going on. So if it looks like I know what I'm doing, that's the only reason why. But I can tell that they did change up a few things from the demo version to the full release. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. So we have a choice of Path of the Cricket, which is balanced. Path of the Bastard, Dexterity. Path of the Sweeper, Strength. So I'm big on a quality build. We're going to go Path of the Cricket Balanced. Destination Hotel Court. Recommend escaping from this location. We'll see how much they've changed from the demo to the full release game. Power cells are just like your Estus or your blood vials and Dark Souls in Elden Ring. Ouch. 
Oh, let me fix this real quick. We're going to take this off. And we're going to take this off of here and put Jiminy. Oh, because I pre-ordered and all of that, I do have some bonus stuff to put on. Awesome. We'll have to check that out. I think it is here. <laughs> uh, that's pretty awesome. Ooh, I like that. I like that too. That's cool. I don't think I'm going to wear that though. I was uh, just talking about guarding. With guarding, if you guard right before an enemy is about to hit you, you can get a perfect guard and it can break their weapon. So just like that, it didn't break his weapon, but it did stop me from taking damage. The guard seems a little faster now. Like, maybe they updated the guard to be a little smoother. We can get backstabs in this game as well. Just gotta go up behind an enemy. Hit R1. Fatal blow. That's an easy trophy, I suppose. I'll let everybody read that if they want to. You can pause the video. I've already read a lot of this kind of stuff. And I like to read that stuff off uh, screen when I'm not recording. So I apologize to anybody that might want me to read that. Man, I'm definitely digging this getup that P has. Oh, wow. And there's our first death. Let's run back to our Ergo. If you die on your way back to picking up your Ergo, you will lose it all. It's kind of a staple in Souls-like games, or Souls games. Also, if we press down on the D-pad, we can sharpen up our blade. We do have a durability system in this game. keep wanting to hit X to run for some reason like hold it down and I know it's circle
He's telling us about fable arts. We're not even ready to use a fable art yet. I mean, we can, but I don't want to use it on one of these smaller enemies. Just telling us about unlocking shortcuts. See how this goes. Okay, we got him groggy. Sweet. Took care of him quick. Is Jiminy even on? He's not. the stalkers used in the past. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the Stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. So here we can level up. This is kind of like our bonfires from like the Souls series. I don't think I'm going to level anything up at the moment. I'm just going to hold off. You can also put some stuff into storage and take stuff out of storage. For now, we're just going to continue on. We're going to get through this area and then we'll level up and stuff. Let's group them up here. So far, there's only a couple little changes. Everything's pretty similar to the demo. At least enemy placement. Jeez, it's crazy looking.
She's talking about a disease or a virus going around. I think it's called uh, the petrification or something. I'll end up uh, reading over it again. Um, off screen. And you know what? I think there's an item over here. There is not. It's just a shortcut. There is a rally system in here, kind of like Bloodborne that when you block and it's not a perfect uh, block you will take some damage but you'll also have an opportunity to gain that health back so that's pretty cool I know it seems like I'm breezing through this but like I said I played the demo and I played quite a bit of it like over and over again because this game was really fun even the demo but I'm sure once I get to areas I don't know that's where I'm gonna start struggling okay, it's talking about fury attacks when enemies glow red myself awesome keep trying to hold X to run what is going on Pinocchio kind of looks like Harry Potter, not gonna lie, with these glasses. You're a puppet, Harry! So whenever you run out of pulse cells, you can hit enemies and you'll slowly see a blue bar starting to fill up where your pulse cells were. And then once it gets to the top, you get a pulse cell. Now you can only get one more back. You can't refill it all the way back up to three. But it's still pretty nifty. We're going to come over here. bud it almost got me let's go ahead and unlock this shortcut
blocking the entrance. And that's the only way in. So please, be careful. This guy is supposed to teach you how to perfect block. And this is new. I didn't see that we got a stargazer over here. So that was definitely not in the demo. Right here we can buy some stuff from this guy. Hello there. Welcome to Krat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. So I'm not going to buy anything from him right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually end the video right over here. And when we come back, we will fight the puppet master or maybe he's not a puppet master, parade master, whatever he is. So I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.